5th, the need for a new world political order. After World War II, humanity witnessed the creation of the United Nations as an institution to coordinate the relationship between nations, and the institutionalization of human rights as a concept to limit the absolute nature of the concept of national sovereignty. But it is apparent that in the hearts of Western politicians, whenever there is a conflict between these two concepts, national sovereignty generally prevails. Further, the power structure of the United Nations with veto powers in the hands of superpowers such as the USA, the United Kingdom, France, Russia, and China, who are permanent members of the Security Council, has transformed the UN into an institution to protect the concept of national sovereignty and dictatorial regimes who suppress human rights. Their peoples without fear for any sanctions from the international community thanks to the veto power of Russia and China. With the inexorable march of the movement for democracy based on constitutionalism, the rule of law and pluralism in practice, humanity needs a new world order in which fundamental human rights must be respected and above all, whenever there is a conflict between the concepts of national sovereignty and human rights. Human rights must prevail to the extent of such conflict. Evidently, the composition and structure of the United Nations and Security Council must be reformed to transcend the power and influence of the victorious nations of World War II, to reflect the reality of the world today, as well as to reflect the concept of democracy based on constitutionalism, the rule of law, and pluralism.